up guys so today i'm gonna be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine um as a freshman in high school everybody always asks me like why do you put freshman in your title and it's because like i want other freshmen to watch me and be like oh she's a freshman too that's crazy since i cut my hair i've been getting a lot of comments like wow you're 14 you're a freshman blah blah, blah. Like, look 14 like that don't i look 14 i don't think i look older than 14 because people are like oh shit, i thought you were 16 or 17 i'm like no. To answer your guys' questions, that's why I always put like freshmen in my titles because I want like, other high schoolers to watch me so that you know we could like relate on a different level, you know, like so the last time I think I did like a everyday high school makeup routine, I didn't even have a makeup routine at the time. I didn't even do makeup when I made that video. So I don't know why I was scamming y'all. Like, like I literally lied to you guys. Now I actually do have a makeup routine because I've been getting a lot more into makeup. It's a really fun hobby of mine. Like it's really no big deal. I'll be showing you guys my actual authentic genuine makeup routine because I used to lie to y'all. Sorry about it. I already moisturized my face and I'm gonna talk throughout it. It's gonna be like a chit chat, get ready with me. I hate when I'm watching like something to do with makeup and then they're like talking about the makeup. Like I don't care. I wanna hear you talk. <laughs> Ew, that sounds creepy. I'm using the Glossier. Whoa, it's like blending in with the background. Wow. I'm using the Glossier priming moisturizer. Oh, I forgot to put some on my forehead. Today's Mother's Day and I don't know why Mother's Day and Sun um, Mother's Day and Easter, like go hand in hand. I literally woke up thinking it was Easter and then I was like It's Mother's Day. I'm stupid like that. Hair's really getting in the way but I don't want to look like a boy so I'm just gonna keep it down. I'm getting ready to go eat at my grandma's house but I'm just gonna do my everyday makeup routine. I don't want to look ugly like I will really get gassed. So there's two ways that I do my everyday makeup routine. My everyday beat Sometimes I use the A Cosmetics like CC cream to put all over my face. To this I don't use concealer but sometimes I'll only do concealer so I don't use you know you know, I'm not really looking a mess today, so I think I'm just gonna do concealer. The concealer that I use is literally so busted, like... Let me get my rag. I don't know how this got like this. I'm so careful with my products. Like, I'm fragile. I'm so blind right now, like, I cannot even see myself. And the camera's literally, like, two feet away from me, but... I'm born this way, naturally radiant concealer. I really actually can't see. Hold your horses. <coughs> really, Fenty? Oh my god, my concealer is all over this. Oh my god, I forgot. I almost forgot to do primer. That would have been sad for all of us. This primer by Benefit. These products are literally like a year or two old because I did this phase, which I talk about a lot because this phase went on for a pretty long time. I was just super obsessed with makeup and especially face makeup. I literally watch people's like morning routines or like makeup routines just to see what like face products they use and then I'll click out. Like I never cared about eyeshadow, bronzer, any of that. I only cared about highlight and face makeup. I don't know, face makeup is just so intriguing to me. I just have a bunch of like face products just sitting around when I literally use the same powder, same concealer, same foundation every single day while my other products are just collecting dust in my bin this long hair i had like a withdrawal with my arizona's like i don't think it's called a withdrawal i don't even know what it's called literally cannot see anything with this mirror she's all clean whoa dude do you guys like my shirt this shirt is literally from walmart it was like low-key expensive though it's like 12 dollars which walmart do better this is cute for walmart the sponge is so dirty i haven't cleaned it since like 2018 this looks like it has more coverage than this one. My lips are really sitting here dry as hell. Ooh, I kind of want to talk about the James Charles scandal. A bunch of people have been asking me to talk about it. Um, I don't know why though. Like, I literally don't like him like everybody else. Like, duh. He, like, kept up with me over the past few months. I've been not liking him. I just don't really, like, care for him. Like, half baking, half not yeah i don't know he's just been in so many problems this year last year 2017 i don't know why everybody was still supporting him after that because that like tati exposed him or whatever it like showed a lot more about him and what was shown by itself like this really big morphe brush with this butter bronzer i want to do freckles today tati like exposed him for trying to kind of like turn straight men gay or whatever um i don't know why everybody was surprised like that's literally been a thing for so long but as soon as she says it everybody's like unsubscribe like he literally made that evident that he was literally like crazy <laughs> i always talk about it as a joke and then now everybody's surprised saying he's like disgusting but you were literally still supporting him after like literally he would joke about it on twitter instagram on his channel 
Oh, shit. Well, that part just didn't surprise me, and I don't know why it surprised everybody else. And I don't know when this is going to be uploaded, so, like, by the time it is, all this drama will probably be, like, old. But it's so funny if you go on YouTube and it's, like, James Charles' live subscriber count. Like, Jeffree Star tweeted something about it this morning, saying, like, oh, my boyfriend banned him from our house. I'll be like... Yeah. Charles is currently at 14,125,000 and Tati is at 8,577,000. Today's May 12th, so let's see where he is when I upload this. Okay, so, ooh, you cannot see me. It's May 14th and he is currently at 13.4 million and Tati is about to hit 10 million. Yes! Before everything happened, James Charles was at 16.5 million and Tati was at 5.9 million, so he got what he deserved. I forgot what I was gonna do right now. Highlighter, duh. I started to use a spray because I bought it and I just didn't use it, which always gets on my nerves, so. I love the smell of it. I love it more than all the other smells. Actually, the cucumber one kind of slaps, but. That's so crazy because James Charles literally grew so fast. The top beauty guru, like, out of everybody, and now he's literally. I think this is a sign that Bretman Rock should be up next. Rock is so slept on. He's funnier than all these beauty gurus. The person of color, he's not racist. He's not problematic. Like, he's, like, perfect to be up here. You just swap subscriber counts, like, if that... If that could happen, that'd be good. But James Shaw has never really deserved to be all the way up there and to be talked about so much. Be invited to the Met Gala. What was the point of that? That's like a trend to hate James Charles. So again, he got what he deserved. And that guy Gabriel Zamora, I'm so tired of him. He wants to be relevant so bad. He, I mean, that's none of my business, but. Especially, he was already in all that drama with Manny MUA and Laura Lee. And he's just, what? Did you not learn that lesson already? How does it feel to be canceled for the second time? I don't even like support the like cancel community. Like I believe that people deserve second chance because we're humans, we make mistakes. Everybody does something they don't mean. Or now move on to more relevant things. Where's my beauty blender? I can't wait to start driving because the highlighter that I've been using recently is the Anastasia Sun Dipped Glow Kit. Why is there hair on me? These two shades, mostly this shade because this one like leaves like a cast on me and Oh my god, this video is already 18 minutes. I did not want this video to be long. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me move my bang real quick. I just use these two. I made this video on this company and basically I was just talking about all the reasons they should be cancelled. When I was talking about it, it was all just like alleged. Like it was all things that I had seen or heard on the internet. Which were all facts. To be real with you. Then one of the girls that actually went on the trip, her name's Kiana. You guys should go check out her video. I'll leave it down below in my description. She posted a video of her experience with Doe after I had already made my video. So I couldn't like, you know, quote her and whatever. It is so sad and it's so upsetting. So you guys should really go watch it. Really talking about how like she wasn't allowed to be posted on the Instagram. And it really opened my eyes and it really made me feel so different about Doe. Talking about in my video, I was like, oh, they could change. Maybe if they have genuine change, I'll work with them again. I do not ever want to work with them ever again even if they do change that kind of behavior is disgusting and, I, and i'm so glad they're getting exposed because it's so ugly how they thought they could get away with all this and then once they got exposed they want to apologize yana was talking about like oh she was telling them like how to improve their brand and they still didn't so that shows a lot about them now we're gonna move on to the best combo ever which is the lash paradise mascara this eyelash curler i put my mirror away this mascara is so bomb. It's like the only mascara out of high-end and drugstore that can keep my eyelashes curled. I've been so obsessed with... Uh, obsessed? <laughs> I've been so obsessed with Frank Ocean lately. I hate talking about makeup because I feel like I'm being so boring, but literally this mascara... Because I suck at makeup, I have to clean up my mistakes. Why are my lips dry? <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Yeah, there's foundation literally over my whole desk. So that is it for my everyday makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I have like 13 days left as a freshman. So, you know, I thought I would take advantage of me still being a freshman. See you guys in my next video. Let me know if you guys want any more like makeup related. Because this was kind of fun. I felt kind of personal for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. My highlight looks a little bit too much. Okay. Mother's Day today. It's May 12th. And this is the fit. I have some basic like mom jeans from Lupsana on. I don't actually sue a patch on for me. It's like this cute little cherry patch from Michaels. Super cute. I love it. It adds such a big detail. Shirt's actually from Walmart. I got 
got it like last summer. Cute has this little collar thing and it's so good for being from Walmart. Like they really stepped it up. My outfit literally has like no green in it but I'm still gonna wear my green dahlias because these are my favorite shoes I have right now. They just look like this. They're super dirty because I used them for a photo shoot a while ago. So yeah, that's my outfit for today. 